go here. If takes, I take, and then I have check on F2. Yeah, now I think I survived, because now I get 97 Rook G8, and it's called the Ambulance, but not for me. So I have Rook G8, and now he's, now he's in a world of hurt here. Knight G6 is very strong. I threaten all the checks here. I have Knight F4, and now I just take with the Queen. I take, go here. Go here, d5. His rook is dead on the rim. Go here. I take with the pawn. Okay, let's play here. Playing another guy. This is plus two, at least, for a little bit. Oh, I meant to go d4. Go here. Of course, I'll play e5. Queen e2. Standard kings any attack here, by the way. A, a favorite opening of Bobby Fischer. Nice farming of this guy. I mean, it's not... I mean, I don't know if that's what I would call it, but yeah. Go here. Go here. Knight h2, knight h4, queen d2. This, is, this, is, this was Bobby Fischer's favorite opening. He loved the kings any attack. Now, I'm supposed to go a3. This much I know. Plays bishop a6. He wants c4. I mean, I know there are sacks that, that are that, that abound here. Um, I just have to remember what the order is. Knight h2, I think, is still fine. Because I can still take and go d4, I believe. Oh, wait, no, now, wait. Did I just put the wrong? No, c4, I can just take and go like queen d1. I mean, he's supposed to move the rook. Yeah, now he moves the rook, which is correct. c3 is always a move. My queen should not be on e2, but it is. Let's go knight g4. Knight d4, logical. I think I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go for the sack here. I've got to go for it. I don't know if it's good, but I'm I'm, I'm definitely sacking on h6 next move. 100, percent 120 percent. He goes knight f5. Logical. Um, I think c3 is definitely a move here. His idea, I guess, is c4. I can play knight e3, and I think I should. Seems wrong, actually. Seems slightly wrong. But I'm definitely still sacking here on H H6. I need to stro hay for the prime thing. So I'm just stro he for the prime. I'm totally sacking on H6 next move. Okay, takes. I guess I take. Totally sacking here if I have the chance. He goes C4. So now the question is, I think I go D4 because C3. Okay, well he's he's asking me to sack. I definitely can sack. Is it the right choice? I also have G4. You know, let's just go all in. Let's just attack him with G4, G5. He gets Knight B6, C4. But I still have queen c1, and it's still a problem, I think. I can also go knight h2 here. No, let's just go for it. Queen c1. Guard everything. Take the pawn. I mean, he's got an open file here on the b file. But again, very, very scary to play here for black. Let's just take with the bishop. Let's keep the free move in play. Okay, so I take, he goes rook g8. I do have h6 here. He's trying to get the rook in. I mean, if I want to play like a Sergei Karyak, and I would... And h6 looks right, though. Now I have h7 with bishop f6. This looks very, very scary for black somehow. Okay, I'm going to trust my instinct that I have enough play here. That I can go like here and knight g5 and h7. I'm just going to trust my instincts. I don't actually know that I have enough, but my instincts say I have enough. Um, knight g5 and h7 looks very, very scary. I think I can just go here, though, even. I mean, knight a3, I can also just sack. I've got h7, I've got knight g5. I mean, I think this is losing for black. Just my, my, my intuition tells me that black has no protection around the king. And even though it looks really good on the queen side, if he doesn't actually get this pawn, he's not getting either pawn. I should be able to consolidate this. Okay, let's go here. I mean, this looks very, very scary. Black has everything over here. And eventually, I think I'm breaking through on the king's side. I don't know for sure that I am, but my assumption is that I am. Because rook b6 now, I can obviously take... I think this is just winning. I'm going to go here. I mean, I don't think he can do it. Okay, it goes rook a2. But what does this do exactly? Because I don't care about my whole queen side. I'm just going... Oh, shoot, I blundered that. 
Ooh, that is upsetting. Very, very upsetting. I still should be winning, but let's let's make sure. H7, King G7, Queen H4. That was very stupid of me. I let him find a trick. H7 must be right. I mean, this still is winning, I think. If I can take. I mean, this must be winning. Now, do I go to g5 or do I trade rooks? Is the question. I think I. I think I trade rooks and go here. I mean, knight e6 and knight h7 are two huge threats. And I don't think you can stop both. Okay. A, can I check and mate? Check and mate. Okay, let's keep going. Let's go d5, maybe g6. Let's go here. Go here in e5. I mean, he can sack, but that's not great. If let's take, let's go e4. It's all pretty standard. I had this against Jan Nepoman Nepomniachi not so long ago. Oh, I was supposed to go bishop b4 first. Oh, I misplayed this. Well, maybe not. I do have bishop b4, which I think is okay. Yeah, this is okay. This should be fine. At least I hope it is. I guess I'll take with a bishop and just pass. We'll go like knight c6. Maybe rook f6, g6. Okay, I'll develop the knight. Makes makes a lot of sense. Probably I'm going to go rook f6, g6 and try to go for a big attack here on the king side immediately. I could have also gone queen g5 or queen h4 first. Okay, rook g6 looks very strong. Knight before also looks very, very strong. Oh, wait, knight before has got d5. Wait a second. Rook g6, f3. Um, f3, queen g5, g3, e3. Yeah, this looks very dangerous for white. I mean, queen g5 is almost gg. E3 is also really, really bad for white. Nepo is funny. Yeah, Nepo, Nepo is the man. He is the man. It goes f4. I mean, I saw f4 as a move, but I thought now I could even go knight before. Oh, he is knight. No, wait. What? What is f4? Okay, let's just go here. I mean, I think this is just terrible for white. I mean, it looks awful. I'm also attacking the pawn. I mean, big yikes. And if he takes, I trade and take, and he's just down materials. So I don't really know what he's going to do here. Goes queen e3. I can take and go knight e 3 I guess. Why not? Oh, he gets the knight to e5, and I'm feeling stupid again. Maybe. Hmm. Wait, wait, but he doesn't have a threat, so if I go here in knight d5... He can't go knight e5 because I just take the bishop. So if I get knight d5 here... Oh, I also had b5, which I think was just winning there. Go here. If I can just take, take... B5, B5 is just winning. What am I doing? Back. Okay, I take. Yeah, he's going he's gonna to get counterplay now because I just totally misplayed this. Rook C8, Queen F5. Now let's just go here. Go here. Okay, I'm up a lot of time on the clock, though, so I can't really be that bad. I just shouldn't have let him get this jumbo pony on E5. That was a big mistake. Go here, queen d5. What's that? Uh, thank, thank you so much. Um, that. Thank you to Eric Zubers for the prime. Thank you so much. Oh wait, okay. wait a second. What am I doing? I think. Let's just go back. Uh, thank you to H Carter for the 13. Thank you to Songlian for the 13. Okay, that doesn't do anything. Let's just go. 
Knight c3 is, is definitely a move. Rook b6 looks fine. Go here, attack the bishop. I'm probably just going to go g6. Or I can blunder instead. What am I doing? Go here. What on earth am I doing here? Go here, I have rook b6, rook c7, I guess. Making a bit of a hash out of this. Queen d4, I guess. Don't tell me I just blundered again. I blunder rook d1. No, I'm 96. I also have rook f4. Go here. I mean, I'm going to go rook f2. I did misplay this quite seriously. But he doesn't have enough time to salvage this, surely. Go here. Here. Go here, and now I win the game. There we go. Okay, he's not resigning for some reason. I mean, maybe he thinks he can survive this, but it's not happening. All right, we get another dub. Let's go E4. Four away. Four is my goal. 3270 is my next target. Let's go here, D C3. Castle, go knight d2. It's a free pawn or not is a question. I don't know if it is. I think it is, though. As I recall, I think it is actually a free pawn. Going for 33, 33. I'm going to try. I mean, I basically have to be perfect and just play here or there. Here or there. Go knight f3. Every player in region is happy with the facilities provided feet. Don't you think you made a mistake? Hardly. Just because they're happy with the facilities doesn't mean that it's some perfect uh, situation. Play H3 and takes. It's, it's all perfect until someone gets COVID. Like, you can say the facilities are fine. It's not really about the facilities. It's about the fact that um, there's a very high risk people are going to come down with COVID. Uh, I'll play Knight D2 and maybe Rookie 1 next move. Maybe just Queen E2, Knight F1. I don't like my position that much, but it's still playable. I'll think it a brain dead for the nine months. It goes there. That's actually a pretty good move, I think. I actually kind of like it. Um, go here, maybe. Yeah, imagine someone gets ill. Well, I mean, obviously. Yeah, it's like, okay, it's all it's all nice and fine. I mean, any any set of facilities would be completely fine if nobody gets sick. But you can't prevent it. Like, thinking that somehow COVID... I mean, thinking that somehow nobody's going to get sick. I mean, we'll see. Maybe they'll get lucky. They're rolling the dice again. Um, they're completely rolling the dice for a second tournament in a row. World Cup was the first one, which was very questionable and they got lucky the first time will they be able to roll the dice a second time and get lucky we'll see um he goes 95 logical i can play g3 here i don't really like g3 but it is decent I'll do, I'll do it i don't know if it's right though what is my position in chess.com because he's just um because he's just uh just just partnered i'm not i don't own stock or anything if that's if that's the question okay does this i thought i could maybe take maybe i'm crazy yeah i think i am crazy why did i allow a five very stupid of me i guess i go here force the trade takes i take with the bishop he moves the knight i have a check on c4 Got a wooden shield, of course, as always. Thank you to Maelstrom for the four months. Thanks so much to Maelstrom. Appreciate it. He goes King G7. I think Queen B5 is very strong here. I like my position. I have Knight G5. I've got takes. I mean, everything here looks very, very good for me. Just feels lost for black. Queen d7 is actually. Wait, does queen d7 work or not? No, wait, I don't think it does actually. Because I go here. Good day for Tesla. Yeah, of course. Tesla's having a huge day today. Thank you to Seabrig for the five months. Thank you so much to Seabrig. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. 1008. Wow. 1008. That's just insane. Wow. 
Wowzers. Wow. Wowzers. Just big wowzers. Um, okay, I guess I trade. It takes. I can obviously play an end game here. I think that's just a winning end game. Oh, he's got rook d5. Oh no. Oh no, I misplayed this. Might be a draw. Okay, it goes there. Go here. I, I want to expand on the um on both wings. I'm gonna expand on both sides, but I need to keep the pieces in the game. I need to keep pressure on the king side too to win this. Pretty confident I'll win this game no matter what, but still not thrilled. Now the question is, I think I'm gonna start expanding further on the uh, king side here. Try to really put some softness on his king side pawns. It goes g5. I saw that. I think I'm gonna go. Well, h5 he has rook f4. But I think f3 and rook it. This must be winning. Go here. I gotta go here and rook here. Oh, did I just blunder this? I don't believe this. I think I did just blunder. But I'm gonna flag him anyway, so it doesn't matter. Still, very poor technique. Um, let's go here. Here, I need a check. I think the way that I win this is to start expanding on the... Oh, that's just, he just blundered. He wasn't expecting that. Okay, there we go. Three away. Let's keep going. Go here. go c3 i'll go e5 i guess every time he car says did i blunder he wins um well i blundered from a technical standpoint that's what i would say okay let's go here i'm just gonna castle probably he goes h3 stop knight g4 yeah castles knight c3 like rook e8 that's d5 i suppose let's go here problem is after knight bd2 d5 is a draw that's the problem d5 is just a draw but i don't really want to draw so i guess I have to come with a better... I, I'm going to go here, even though I know this is wrong. Because the draw with d5, where everything comes off in the center, is not good enough. Go here. Oh, that's a mistake. He gave me a... Or is it a mistake? Maybe not. Go here. And it goes there. I can still play rook e8 and queen. I'm going to go here and queen e8, maybe. Guard the pawn like this. I always go rook a5 maybe if I get 96 c5 a little bit a little bit superficial though it's there interesting he gives me knight here also I have this now I'm really concerned is the question I have knight of four does nothing why did I do this or wait I can take wait I can take or if I take it's a free pawn I believe Save Primo, so I'll pre move it. I got a raid. Oh, I didn't see a raid. Sorry. Was there a raid? I must have missed it. Thank you to a Tobster for the nine months. Thank you so much to Tobster. Appreciate it. Thank you. It goes g3 logical choice uh actually i did see this move somehow i did not expect it it's actually a very very good or is it really a great move maybe it's not i just go back and what's the big deal what's the beef okay that's a terrible move because now i get the now i get the knight to c5 never push the pawn and i mean i have a five next move like this is just awful for white question is i don't want to misplay the ordering f5 is obviously f5 and just takes and e4 looks really good Actually, no. I mean, this is just terrible for... Well, I guess he has rook h4. Wait a second. I need to think for a second. I can take and take. Be a little bit careful here. I think I just take. Yeah, I take with a pawn. Go knight f6, e4. I mean, he has knight g5. I saw this. Probably I should not have played this like the way I did. But still, still this should be good. Let's go e4. Side step. He's going to go knight e6. I'll go like rook f7. Maybe knight g8, knight e7. 
Maybe I misplayed this though. Wait, I might have misplayed this. Knight g8. Queen g6, bishop f6. Takes, I just take. Queen h5, bishop f6. Rook h5, bishop b2. I mean, I think it's okay, but I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, it goes there. I saw that move, but I assumed I could just play something like bishop f6. I just got rook h5, and now I'm looking. Wait, I can also take, maybe, but that looks absurd. Bishop e5, knight g5, rook g7. Bishop b5, queen e7. He has a win, he has a win. I don't see it, personally. But he might have a win somehow. I don't see it. Knight here, rook g7. Bishop g4. Okay, I saw that as a move. But I thought now I could play like rook f6. And maybe queen g5, queen f7. Queen h5, rook h6, of course. Go here. If takes, I take, and then I have check on f2. Yeah, now I think I survived. Now I get 97 rook g8, and it's called the ambulance, but not for me. So I have rook g8, and now he's now he's in a world of hurt here. Knight g6 is very strong. I threaten all the checks here. I have knight f4, and now I just take with the queen. I take. Go here. Go here, d5. His rook is dead on the rim. Go here. I take with the pawn. Okay, let's keep going. Two more. Go here. Oh, let's play a close Sicilian. Actually, maybe not. Let's see. Okay, let's go here. This is a close Sicilian with a weird twist. Is Bishop a6 a problem or not? I guess I'll play h4. Why not? I mean, he has bishop a6, a3. Okay, I guess I'll go here. He does play bishop a6. I can play a3 here to stop it. Yeah, he wants to go knight a5. Okay, let's see. How do I do this, actually? I feel like I might have misplayed this very slightly. I'm going to trade some bishops here. I'll go like king g2, bishop f4. Now let's go here. Keep this as simple. He does have f6, but I think I take and go bishop f4. Okay, let's go knight a5. Another reason, very, very reasonable move. Let's play here. Go here. Hit e6. Prevent knight b2, knight a3. Maybe rook b1, rook c1. Just b5. I don't know if I like that move. Um, knight a2 is a move. I think I'm going to try it. I don't actually know why I did it, but I did it. Let's go here. Reroute the pony to c5. Or to b3. c5 both hold. I think I'm doing quite well in this game now, because this king side of long term is a big liability, a lot of weaknesses. Looks pretty good. What do I think about this guy? Yeah, he's generally a very, very, very strong player. No, very, very strong player. Yeah, very strong player. I need a dead bot for the prime cutie jelly for the gift of sub. I mean, I have 93. I mean, it looks 93. I don't. The only problem 93 is I don't know where my knight's going. That's the only problem. Like, am I really going to c5? Probably not. I do have queen d2. Or, ooh, I've got knight h2 maybe also. But it looks bad. It does look quite bad for black. If I get knight c5, oof, tough to play. Okay, knight a4 is a bad move. I go here and now he has problems on the king side, problems on the queen side. I can take a pawn. I can also just go b3, knight c3, knight c5. Ah, this looks very bad. Go here because I have knight c5. take i mean this this of course should just be pretty cleanly winning i need to find the right technique um i don't like rook a6 i think i'm just gonna go queen d3 you can always go after this pawn but i have rook a7 i also have h5 here as well with the pin i go bishop e3 or not rook a5 yeah, rook a5 rook a6 looks completely fine too i have rook a1 next move I mean, he has d4, knight d2, but then I go queen f3. So it's knight b8. I think I should go rook a8 and then rook a1. Just a queen c6, I guess. Okay, he goes there. I go here to go rook a7. Knight d7. This does look just losing. I mean, I have h5 here as well. 
Let's just go h5. So he's got knight e4, which I forgot about, but I guess I have queen a6. Not in love with this position. I guess I'll go here, try to trade off some pieces. There's queen d7. That's the only move that's not just losing. I go here, rook a6. Attack the knight. Knight e7, rook d6. I mean, I'm infiltrating, and I also have just rook a7. Queen d5, I can even just trade. And c6, c7. Just way too slow here. Go back. Uh, let's just take the pawn. I can take the pawn and the game. Also, c7 is just winning here, but okay, everything's winning. I'm just going to take the pawn and go like e1. I mean, I have c7 next move. Uh, just trying to do something here. I guess I just go here and take. Here. And I have rook e6 next move. And everything wins. I guess I'll just take. Go here, take the pawn on b4, clean it up. Oh, I, oh my god, rook h8 hangs a rook. Jeez. Um. He goes king, king c5. Okay, let's, let's not hang our house. Go here. Go here. Trade off some knights. Simplify as much as we can. Thank you to NY Poxate on for the 21, or for the three months. Thank you so much. I mean, everything wins. Let's just take and go here. Really? He's not going to resign? <laughs> okay. Someone's in a bad mood, apparently, because he should just resign this. Okay. Go again. Go here. I guess I'll just take maybe d6. Oh, I played the wrong order. I guess let's go here. What is this? Actually, I'm going to play e5. Maybe not right. Go here, knight d7, I guess. Yeah, knight d7. F4, I guess I just take. Or I actually can go rook c8. I think I'm going to play the old Gary Kasparov line with queen c7. This is kind of weird. Normally, the bishop's on e2 here, not d3. So it's a little bit unusual. But just b5, I think rook c8 is still correct here with bishop e7. Yeah, I'm getting plus 2. Yeah, I'm still getting plus 2 at the moment. I go b5. I mean, I always have h6. I can always just castle 2. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess I just castle. I, I always have h6 later. He goes knight d2. He's trying to take. Um, the only question is how do I activate my queen side here. I think I'll just go rook e8 maybe. I okay, take. I'm threatening queen b6. I have queen b7. Queen h1. Very reasonable. Rook b8 doesn't quite work. Queen b7 doesn't quite work. Knight b6 is a strange move, but it's a move I'm going to play. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. He goes rook f3. I think I should try to sack something soon. Um, like I guess I'll go here. I'm gonna go what rook g3 i go d5 to open it up this is not yeah this is not what i wanted at all i just blundered again too he goes knight f1 so he doesn't okay i mean i have to open it if i if, if i can't blast the center here i just lose the game i mean i have e4 here i have knight d5 queen e4 knight c3 queen b7 rook e1 so let's just let's just go for it Oh no, it doesn't work. I blundered rook, b rook d8. Ah, oh, shisa. Shisa, shisa, shisa. Ah, oh, that was a mistake. Now I just threw this game. I thought I could take, but he's got rook d8. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I okay, let's just take. I guess I'll just move. Try to do something. Yeah, minus 14. Pretty disgusting, huh? If I get rook d8, maybe there's some small miracle of hope. Not really, though. Let's go here. Yeah. Uh, 
I just threw that. Terrible. Last three. I'm going to beat him three and then stop, you guys. Threw that with D5. And Missity can play Rook D8. I'm going to play Bishop E2, Bishop F2. H4 is not correct, though. Go here on castles. I mean, G4 is very... G4, this is very bad. Let's just take... I need Debita for the 8. No, I'm not actually tilted. I'm just mad at myself. Luckily, I have a great position in this game. I mean, I should just win this game. I'm going to go C4, probably. Over here, C5, C4, of course. I mean... Wait, is that do I take? No, C4's got to be right here. So bad. I was one game one game away from a uh, new high on the year. <laughs> Funny. Okay, knight b6 looks terrible. Uh, I do have to be careful how I play this. I do have bishop e1. Takes c4 is not ideal. Takes knight c4, b3, knight a3. I mean, this has to be bad, right? b3, king b2. Yeah, I mean, this is terrible for black. I'm gonna go check. I go king b2. I could have gone knight d4 maybe also, but hard to believe this isn't just winning. Queen b4, I have bishop e1. Thank you to Nikki for the four. Thank you to Charlie for the five. Abe Spain for the prime. Thank you so much, Abe Spain. Thank you so much. Okay, let's go here. Buenos tardes. Buenos tardes de, Colom de Colombia. Si, si. Yeah, actually, Colombia's been in the news, right? Didn't they capture a drug lord or something yesterday? I mean, this is all very, very bad for black. I'm going to go a4. But I don't have a forced win. That's the only problem with this. I mean, knight d4 is... Knight d4 looks amazingly good. I'm just going to play it. Because g5... I assumed I had something here. But I don't. So I feel like an idiot. Or wait, do I? Wait, I have this. And knight b5. I also have rook c1, right? Or DMCA, right? DMCA, yeah. Let's go here. Go here on Bishop E2 and end the game on the spot because this queen's getting trapped. Thank you to Electric Masada for the 36. Thank you so much to Electric Masada. Check Tesla. I Yeah, I saw Tesla was going Bonzo again. 1029? Wowzers. Those puts go brrrr. 10.29. Wow, crazy. YMCA. Oh, okay, takes. I think I just go here. Buy high, sell low. Exactly. Let's take. Oh, but he's got bishop e5. Wait, I just... Uh, I just allowed something I shouldn't have allowed. Wait a second. I should not have allowed this. Now it's still a game. To go here. Go bishop back two. I slightly misplayed this. Uh, wait, but that's a free pawn. I'll just take it. Scoot over. Go like bishop a4. He's got no time. I mean, I can't possibly mess this up. Let's go here. Take the bishop. Go g5. I mean, let's take. Go here. Hit the pawn. Bishop d4. go here here hit the queen I don't know why I'm playing Sicilian against him suddenly but I am go here I must play this one let's go here Actually, g5 is kind of interesting there. Let's go here. Hmm. Which one do I want to play? I guess I have knight b4, maybe. Knight a6. I think a5 is move. I think... I mean, even bishop d7 should be fine here. I can also just go b6, maybe. Let's go here, knight a6, knight c5. Don't like it so much, but it's playable. It's definitely a move, though. I'm 
for knight c5, I guess, and a5. Of a4, maybe just... Bishop a6 and queen c7, rook c8, next move. Actually, I should have gone rook a8. Why did I put the f rook there? Yeah, he puts his f rook over, which I also think is kind of weird. B4, okay, let's go... Hmm, I can take, but I think knight d7 is safer. Bishop d3. I'll obviously trade if I want to. He wants to go knight b5. I think there should be some tactic here that I'm missing. Like rook c3, queen c... No, there is no tactic, apparently. Let's just take... I have knight h5 here. I'm gonna go for knight h5, knight f4, probably. Thanks for the great stream. Have to go. That's, that's too bad, man. Hope you have a good rest of your afternoon or morning or wherever you are. Hope all's well. Again, I just did something I should not have done. So let's take... Why did I do this, actually? This was so stupid of me. I go knight of four. Because rook c8, I have rook a1. Rook a8, I have rook... I just blunder again. I think I just blundered again. Should have played knight of four first. Maybe it's a blunder. It's, it's actually a blunder, but it's not a huge blunder. It's a mistake. It's not the end of the world. Do I follow the NHL? He misses it. Okay, yeah. He misses it with queen d1. Um, I do sometimes follow the NHL. Not super closely, but I do. Now, do I take a1 or not is another question. I think I do. Oh, I've got knight f6, actually. Wait, this is not bad at all, suddenly. Wait, this is not bad at all. I mean, it's g3, but I go back or I take and take. This is not bad. Suddenly, suddenly I feel like he's misplayed this just a little bit. Doesn't mean he's not still better. Very slight, like knight a7 or something. But I'm getting play. Dude, TSN for the six months. Thank you so much, TSN. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay, he goes knight d2. Queen d7. You can also sack here, but that looks a little bit too much. Knight a7 is a problem. How do I do this? Wait, what am I doing? He wants knight a7. That's his idea. So I need to cut him off at the pass somehow. Queen d7 and knight h3 is always an idea. I think I'm just going to go queen d7. Knight a7. I'm probably going to go rook e8 and go all in here. Actually, wait. I can't go all in. What am I doing? Go here. Yeah, I thought I could sack, but I can't. Just take and take, I guess. And b5, e4. I've got knight c3. What am I doing? <sighs> Getting tired. I'll go here. Here. I still have knight e3 and queen b5. That's what I'm banking on. Oh, I'm also too slow. I just realized I'm way too I'm way too slow on the clock, too. Take. I just realized I've got 30 seconds. How do I only have 30 seconds here? Just insane. He's got check and I go over, but knight g3. Um let's go here. I gotta move. I gotta move. How am I so slow suddenly? Blundered. He made a huge blunder. Huge blunder.
Ah, threw it again. Okay, last game. Threw that. Should have won that at the end, too. Yeah, I was getting tired. I threw the flag so badly there. I could have put the bishop on any other square. I could have put it on a3. I put it on the one square where I let him off the hook. Let's go here. Uh, put it on the only square where there could be trouble. It's going to h4, hit the bishop. Oh, now I did this, which was absurd. I have F5. I kind of want to sack a piece here. I want to play as like Mikhail Talwood. Talwood sack a piece, so I'm going to sack a piece. Yeah, Talwood sack a piece, so I'm going to sack a piece. I don't know if this is good or not, but I want I want to sack. Let's just take. I mean, it actually looks quite scary, to be honest. For black. This looks very scary, maybe. Yeah, but Talwood also went after, yeah looks pretty scary though he's got bad piece placement like really I mean maybe he can go h6 there's queen e8 I mean rook f3 maybe even I'm just gonna go for the kill like he's got to go knight g5 I mean I take and I go queen takes and queen h6 take and take yeah, I mean, Bishop E6 looks strong. Just Rook E1, Rook H3. This also looks very strong. Yeah, I can play Rook H3, probably. This, I mean, I'm just going to go G4. Uh, but G4, I gave him Bishop H6, but I have Queen H5, H4, G5, maybe. I don't know if this was right, but I mean, he's trying hard to hang on. But I think he's in really, really bad shape here. Yeah, maybe I have h4, queen h5, something like this, but trying to get e6 in. Queen f4. Yeah, queen f4 and just g5. I'm just going to blast through. If he goes e5. Oh, he goes e5. Oh my god, I missed e5, but I have queen e4, and I'm still okay. Completely missed e5 as a move. But I have queen e4 and then g5, so it doesn't matter. Luck, very, very lucky. I okay, go here. Because now D5, I mean, G5 is just GG, basically. I mean, he has H6, H4 or something, but hard to believe. Okay, he goes Rook D6. I don't I think G5 is still winning. What's his move? He has Knight D4. Let's go here. Yeah, now I'm just going to go like... like where's my bishop? It's here. Let's go back. I'm going to go G5 because B4 just wins the knight. He also has no time, so hard to see him salvaging this. I mean, b4 just wins the knight. g5 is much more in the spirit, though, so let's go g5, f6. Much more in the spirit of how to play the position. Oh, did I just miss something? Wait, no, I have g6. Yeah, I mean, that's just too much. Too many pawns coming down the board. He's, he's getting sauced on the king side. Yeah, I can play g7 here. I mean, he's like barely alive let's go here i mean he just cannot survive this go here threaten mate i've got bishop f5 i mean i also have rook g1 everything is collapsing rook g1 i guess i mean how is he stop he can't st i mean there's so many mating threats they're, they're mating threats everywhere here i also have bishop f5 h7 also to boot Okay. I mean, he tries, but I can just trade. I mean, I can just take and go F7 even. All right, you guys. We get that dub. We get that dub.